What is up, Myth Guardians? Leap Daniel here. We've got some new cards this week for the Rings of Immortality expansion. I'll give my star ratings at the end if you don't have time to hear all my thoughts on each individual card. Let's go. Unified Front is a 3-mana rare green enchantment, which costs 2 green gems. While occupied, enemy minions created anywhere other than the opposite lane take 1 damage. This card seems like a decent control choice, especially if combined with Field of Poppies and other cards that deal wide board damage. It can also lock out certain 1 health cards like Eager Recruit or Steam Bun. However, on its own, it doesn't accomplish much. It might be the sort of card that can have a deck built around it, but I'm not sure if that deck will be competitive. Doper. A 1 mana common minion which costs 1 yellow gem and has 0 attack and 2 health. It has a once per turn effect that lets you either get plus 2, minus 1, or plus 0, plus 1. An interesting one drop. I think it's worth comparing this card to Golden Axolotl, another common yellow one drop. Axolotl has three base stats, which is technically one more than Doper. However, Axolotl is less versatile, only getting a health stat boost, and only when you burn a card. This has drawbacks. For example, you can't burn a card on turn one after playing it, and in the late game, you may not want to burn cards. So on turn one, Doper is a clearly power creeped axolotl, and on later turns it's still probably better by virtue of its versatility. Since axolotl is already borderline competitive, I think Doper will be a competitive card. Adorner of Fertility. This card is a 1 mana orange mythic minion, which costs 1 orange gem, and has 1 attack and 2 health. It has an Awaken effect, add the Ring of Birth to your hand. And the Ring of Birth is a one mana item with Ephemeral and give a minion, add a new copy of this minion to your hand in two turns. So obviously the art here is not the final art intended for this card or its associated item. Um, but I think this card is a great one drop. It's another good one drop. It has similar stats to Eager Recruit, but it gives you a much better card in hand. And note that that card does not cost an additional orange gem like Parser Recruit does. Certainly, it's much more useful than a 1 mana 1-1, one -one, and can at least apply a lot of pressure to your opponent to remove a minion fast, and at best, it can slowly pump out an army of copies of your key minion. I would love to see pairing this with an Immortal card as well. I bet someone will find a way to make this broken. Alright, Thoroughbled Steed is a 6 mana common red minion which costs 2 red gems. It has 4 attack and 8 health. And it has Swift and after dealing damage to a minion while attacking, deal equal non-combat damage to your opponent. A big pile of stats, his ability isn't overrun, but you can kind of think of it like overrun, like its text is just swift overrun. It's all about dealing damage to your opponent even when a minion blocks you. I think this is mediocre, it just doesn't do enough to turn it as played. However, it might combo well with something giving it rush, like Freaky Sidecar. The bonus is that with if you use Freaky Sidecar is that with its swift ability, it can move out of the way to make room for another minion to rush. I don't think many rush-centric blue-red decks want to be spending 9 mana in a turn, but maybe that deck will exist eventually? Alright, Pressure to Perform is a 3 mana purple common spell which costs 1 purple gem, and its text is Give an enemy minion minus 1 minus 0 for each spirit card in your boneyard and return to the top of owner's deck at the end of their turn unless it attacked or was just created. I think it's a fairly slow card given that at the start of the game your boneyard is empty. Maybe there's a world where you play this with stun cards such as Night Hag 
and slowly burn your opponent with cards like Mothmara and Jaded Courtier. Each effect in isolation is not that good, but together they might be enough to make the card good enough. Alright, our last one is yet another one drop, Die Hard Drainy. Uh, he's one mana green common, costs one green gem, and upon entering the Boneyard, he transforms into a 4-4 four, four Fanatical Phantom, which, uh, note, also costs uh, two mana rather than one. Um, so obviously this card was intended for Boneyard shenanigans. Note that he counts as a spirit in the Boneyard, so he works with pressure to perform, but I don't think this card shines best in spirit decks. I also don't think you'd want to play this with Hopeless Necromantic, as generally she wants something bigger than a 4-4. Four, four. Maybe the best way to play this is in an aggressive Journey of Souls deck, just so you can get out cheap stats. I think it would be a lot better for that if the Fanatical Phantom token costed one mana instead of two, though. Alright, so that's all the cards. Now I'll get to my star ratings. Unified Front is a three-star card. Doper is a four-star card. Adorner of Fer Fertility is a five-star card. Thoroughbled Steed is a two-star card. Pressure to Perform is a three-star card. And Die Hard Drainy is a three-star card. Let me know what you think of these cards down in the comments. And thanks for watching.